You know, I've probably changed hundreds of spark plugs over the course of my career, and I'm betting that many of you have too. But today I'd like to share three of my favorite spark plug installation tips, and I'm willing to bet that there's at least one that you haven't heard of yet. That's next on today's Service Done Right. My first favorite tip, make sure you use the correct socket type to install the spark plug. When removing, and especially when installing, care should be taken not to stress the ceramic insulator of the spark plug. Angular force from an uneven socket can cause cracks in the insulator, leading to engine misfires and the spark plug having to be replaced well before its time. The best way to avoid the problem is to use a socket that's specifically designed for spark plug installation. These sockets have a rubber insert that surrounds the insulator and holds it evenly inside the socket during installation. Some spark plug sockets also incorporate a magnet that will hold the spark plug terminal in place, making removal of the spark plug from the engine a lot easier. Now on to my next favorite checking and, if necessary, adjusting the spark plug gap. Spark plugs are a precision-made product, and the gap between the center and ground electrodes is critical to optimum performance. If the gap is too small, the flame may not have the room it needs to expand properly. And if the gap is too large, the voltage required from the coil may be too great. And then even though the spark plug comes pre-gapped from the factory, it's traveled an awful long way from the manufacturer to your shop. And the only correct way to check and adjust that gap is with a wire gap gauge. Forget about using that ramp style gauge your tool truck guy gave you. Not only is it inaccurate, it can also cause damage to the plug. Last is a debate that's been going on for some time now. Should you use anti-seize on the threads of the spark plug prior to installation? Well, according to our sponsor, Autolite, the answer is to consult your service information system and only use anti-seize if the OE specifies that you do so. The nickel coating on most modern spark plugs provides added protection from seizing in aluminum cylinder heads and has made anti-seize less important than it used to be. Now you've heard me say before that using a torque wrench to tighten the spark plugs is an important step in doing this task right. The use of anti-seize can alter the tightening torque up to 20%, increasing the risk of breakage during your installation. It can also cause heat transfer and electrical conductivity issues. I've seen more than my share of misfires caused by this simple and easily avoidable mistake. You know, the difference between a professional and a shade tree job is in the details a professional takes to ensure a service done right. So remember the tips that I've shared with you today the next time you service your customer's spark plugs. And consider using Autolite as your plug of choice. To learn more, visit www.autolite.com. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>